Peace. I guess this will be part two. I don't know, I'm just making this up as I go along. I'm actually just looking at it and I'm like, eh, if you bet the times. Um, so I guess Fight with Felix will be part number two. Pardon my French. I actually took French in grade seven, I think. Um, actually, my grade eleven math mark um, was really, really bad. I was actually on the verge of failing grade eleven math, and um, I don't know any French. But looking at the percentage, I understood more of grade 7 French than I did grade 11 math. That's pretty bad. When my, my grade 7 French mark is better than my math mark. And I don't know any French. I know like we oui and bonjour. Bonjour. Ugh. That's horrible. That's why, that's why Russians were never meant to take French. We just don't understand it. We're like, bonjour. And, uh, execute. This is a douchebag. He's keeping his execute as an execute only. Only. So it can learn solar beam. I think that's the only reason you'd ever want to keep an execute that high of a level without evolving it. And he didn't even get to poison me. So, going in for the kill. Weak defense on execute. Parasect having amazing attack. He, this is hilarious. I got Primeape as um my physical attacker, right? Which makes sense. Fighting type really good at physical attack. This is a hilarious part right here. Parasect has higher physical attack than my Primeape. And that's not just a level difference. Um, I actually checked this out. After I beat the Elite Four, they were both around the same level ish and or no right before the elite four they were both well you'll see later i got them around i got them at the exact same level and parasect had better physical attack i was like laughing so hard that became getting primate just pretty much became useless because like oh my physical attacker is weaker than my pokemon that i got only for the lols that that was just sad. Right now, even though Parasect's two levels ahead, I think he still has like 20 more attack power. It's hilarious. And, um, I actually forgot that Magneton was a steel type. I mean, a, just an electric type. I ke kept thinking he was it was a steel type, so I was like... Uh, do I really want to use a physical attack? I'm going to try using a fire, but I don't have any. I just kept thinking that until I'm like, it's just an electric type. Anything I do will just be fine. And I don't know what I was doing here. I was just kind of looking for a good medium attack. Something I do a lot. Magneton still has pretty good defense in this game. Even though he's not steel type and he doesn't get that, like, crap ass over. Power defense all steel type get. You know what? Suck it. Swift. I don't even understand why anybody teaches their Pokemon Swift. Just because it's a hundred percent accuracy and like guaranteed hit, it's got just as much power as I think tackle, if not worse. Oh, cheap ass Magneton right here using Parafusion. Watch me beat the odds. Porygon is that lucky. Porygon is on my lucky star, and he will beat the odds, or she. I'm going to say it's a he, because I just refer to everything as he, unless otherwise said. Look, I'll beat the odds, even though I just got a confusion. doesn't even matter. Nothing can stop Porygon and his reign of terror. Keep going, Porygon. Go for gold. Yes. Beat the Parafusion. I like a 25% chance of hitting. I think if you actually like work out the, like the math behind it, it's 
If you actually work at the math behind it, he's got like a 12.5% chance of hitting with paralysis and confusion, I think. And I'm right here, I'm really giving Pikachu more credit than I should. Because Pikachu has failed me once, and he has failed me again. Why, Pikachu? Why? He's not done anything good for me. Watch Amistar go in for the kill. Amistar has ridiculous high defense, by the way, and really good special. I actually think, um, in my opinion, Amistar is better to have than Kab Kaboot Ops. Or Kabuto, Kabuto Ops, whichever. Just because the defense on him is really high and he only learns special attacks. Kabuto Ops has, is really frail with defense. His speed so so. So he's not, he usually, he's in between, like average speed and really high attack. But at this point, you should already have a really high attacker. So it's always good to have a tank like Amistar, in my opinion. I mean, if you, if you, um, look at the set of my team. Pikachu is my, it's a good special attacker. Not that I, rely, I try to rely on him too often. Primeape is a good physical attacker. Haunter is a really good sweeper, if I ever evolved it, which I won't. But even still, Haunter is a good sweeper. Um, Amasar is a good tank. Porygon is a little bag of surprises. And Parasect is my underdog. I think that's always a good, get, I think that's, Actually, a really bad team I have. I got probably one of the worst team setups I can imagine. But I always like using Pokemon I like, not Pokemon that are good. I mean, I always look on people's walkthroughs for, um, like, Chug of Conroy's and all that such. And everybody's like, oh, is this a good team? I'm using uh, Charizard, Dragonite, Alakazam, and all of them. Like, Wow, way to be complete tool and use every, like, the most typical moves that, like, our team. I think it's like, um, I think it's, yeah, Dragonite, Charizard, Alakazam, Scyther, um, really just, like, those Pokemon? Oh, and Nido King is one, okay, yeah, so, um, Dragonite, Nido King, Charizard, Alakazam. Like, you know, you, everybody knows I like those ones. It's like, everybody uses those. And I hate, I really hate Charizard. <laughs> I know I've already said that in an earlier video when I got Charmander, but I'd never use it because I don't like Charizard. Sorry, Felix, but yeah. I just, ugh. Every time I see them, I'm like, show some originality, people. Use something that you find cool, not just, like, the overpowered Pokemon. So, yeah, go ahead, you use a Dragonite, that's cool. You use Nidoking, King, but you don't use that team. If there's ever, like, anybody that ever used that team, it's everyone. And shut up, that made so much sense. I don't think I actually even explained anything about any of the, uh, Giovanni or Felix's fights. Yeah. <laughs> you guys saw what I did. You know, you know the strategy. You know their Pokemon. And Pikachu's not following me. It's up for the league. Dude, I need more practice. You're out of shape. I think one of my Pokemon fainted. And back to the good old smell you later. One of these days, Felix, I will smell you and you will enjoy it. You'll be smelt so hard, your nose will bleed or, or something. Something like that. Okay, I think I'm going to end it off right about here. Um, yeah, I'm going to end it here. Peace. See ya.